please notice down at the bottom of today's agenda um, a few things this afternoon. The first thing is we looked at spelling words this morning and I thought why not let's put a little practice test out there. It's not all 20 of the words, it's just a few of them that I know watching people this morning we might want to look at real quick. I threw a couple little definitions in there as well. So what I'd like you to do real quick, uh, one partner go, the other partner go, go take the practice test. You'll watch real quick. It looks like we've only got, oh, four or five of our words and a couple definitions. And if you don't remember one, you can just put, um, I don't know, beats me, wish I'd paid attention. I'll know it by Tuesday. Oh, we just got three more. So Monique, I got yours. Nell's got yours. Morgan got yours. Nope, just wait. We're going to look at the results here. See if we can spot anything just right from the get-go that we might want to encourage you to kind of watch this weekend a little bit when you're looking at these things. There's JD. There's Haley. So we got nine people so far. I'm starting to look at some of the answers that people are putting in. I like the one that Angie wrote. She says, I'll know it by Tuesday. I like that answer. Okay, and I know we only saw these just a couple hours ago, but if we take a look at what people are doing, let's see if we can spot any areas that we need to worry about. So drizzle. So if we hit the all, looks like we've got two spellings. Yeah, somebody got that E-L versus the L-E, and that's just one of those things. Who was that person? Oh, we got a couple people with that. So we got a couple of people that did that, and it looks like uh, JD, Caden, you probably want to watch that one, because most of the time with the double consonants, that silent E is going to be on the end. All right, so let's see, vehicle, are we going to win that one? Finally, there we go. So that looks like everybody's recognizing the right spelling there, so that's good. When we think about that definition of wistful, let's see what we have for variety. So I'm seeing the word sadness in all of those definitions. So that looks good and it looks like we had a couple people that weren't sure at all and they put the X's. So what about Grim? How did Grim turn out? Sinister. Okay, that was definitely part of it. A uh, person who's harsh or sinister. Yep. And I'll know it by Tuesday. Who's going to know it by Tuesday? Let's find out real quick. That will be Angie knowing it by Tuesday. So Angie, we're going to test you on that on Tuesday. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's go back to all. And so that was the last one. So what I'm guessing is right now, most people are actually in pretty good shape. We got a few people mixing up LEs and ELs. And if we go back to the real list of words, which we can see on the web page, do any of those do the EL thing at the end? A little different word though, because what's missing in that word that all the rest of these have? What are we noticing in drizzle and gobble and metal? They've got those double consonants. Yeah, it definitely seems to be part of the, the theme of this week's words there. Okay, so a couple more things to show you, then I'll give you this afternoon.